Okay, so hi guys. Jordan Pike. Um, I wanted to ask you, what was your approach to the character? I had kind of been working on the character for two years. Uh, it was, I mean, the character came from my experiences starting out in the acting business, uh, working in restaurants and uh, kind of the, uh, I think everyone goes through it. You know, if you want to be an actor, you should probably learn how to make a good margarita and carry a load of plates, kind of goes with it. And uh, I just kind of de developed the character through that. Uh, originally, the film wasn't going to take such a dark turn. Um, and when we decided to go that way, uh, I think there was a lot of, uh, a lot of soul searching. <laughs> and what was your approach? Um, well, I mean, you know, I'm just like, you know, sort of, a, you know, an arrogant pig, you know, um, and that wasn't so difficult for me to find in the movie. But the thing I love about it is that it really does under, you know, make people maybe a little bit more understand the life of an actor and what it's like because people think we're performing monkeys, you know, and we drop our pants at any chance we get and we'll do anything for anything and all we want to do is perform and dribble at the mouth. But actually there's a lot of, you know, rejection and insanity in the acting world and people go years through things and be treated in the most horrible ways of continual rejection and go back to a life of basically institutionalization in a restaurant or in a kitchen or, you know, like we've all done and we all have to do. And there is this hope that we have sometimes in our hearts, like most people have, I think, which is basically that one day things will change and things will get better. And did that make you like kind of reflect on your own life and perspective on acting? I think I think I do that a couple of times a week. Uh, I think it's I think every time you have a bad audition, you kind of you wonder, God, am I doing the right thing? Why am I here? This is such a nightmare. And then you have you know you have a hundred bad experiences maybe, and then the one good one makes you forget everything. Yeah. And you realize that that's why you're doing it. You're doing it because you can't do anything else. So, yeah. No, I mean, it's a, it, it, it's, a, it's a very tough profession, I think, and it just gets tougher and tougher, you know, and uh, it doesn't take any prisoners and stuff. And I think if you do have any, you know, mental problems, uh, it definitely makes them worse. And uh, I've seen people, like, just lose it and just totally crack up. And this movie is... Some people who watch it might think it's kind of a, maybe a little bit far-fetched, but it's not. It's life <laughs> for an actor. So true, so true. One last question. How was working with your family? Uh, stressful. <laughs> <laughs> if you mess up in a normal set, you never have to see those people again. If you mess up a, in this film, you know, you have to go to Christmas dinner and <laughs> Sunday lunch and, you know, sit across from your uncle who uh, backed you with this, you know, and we made this film together and backed your idea and, and helped you so much. And then, you know, just sit there kind of... <laughs> Sheepishly, uh, yeah, so it was great. stressful, but it was great. It was it was very cool. It's very cool to collaborate with people that you um, that you respect and you love. And it's very cool. It was great. It was great fun. Plus, we we couldn't really afford other people, so we needed all the family. We needed the location. So. We we have to say as well, no to, to the to the Not Film Festival. Yeah. Well done, you guys. You're brilliant, and we love this. We love yeah. it, and we love what you've done. You've done great. Great job. Thank you so much. No, thank, thank you guys. You. Thank you guys. Cheers. That was fantastic. No, I was, this was such a great festival.